The nurse says that you're next. Look, I've got Auntie Beth to take a photo of him sleeping. Oh, sleep tight, Bertie. Ignorance is bliss. Mm, it certainly is. Right, come on. Budge up, wife, look. Oi. <sighs> He's the best thing I've ever done, you know. My little legacy. Hey, come on, don't start with that. You have to let me say things. OK. That cuts both ways. Where there's life, there's hope. I suppose that we could have dropped everything and come for the scan sooner. A few hours wouldn't have made any difference. Yeah. And I wouldn't miss yesterday for the world. Me neither. Making memories. Mm-hmm. That we can reminisce about over in the care home. Oh. You just thought I'd fantasise about being in an old folks home there. Yeah. Bertie and his three girls can come visit us every week. Three girls? Yeah, I'm absolutely convinced of it. Meryl Streep's got three girls, you know. And a boy. Right. But he's not going to have any boys. Carry on. You'll eat all the best chocolates, as per, leaving me with nothing but the coffee creams. Where is this girl? Well, oh, it's in Leafy Cheshire. We're basically inseparable, but we do bicker. I want to bicker with you until I'm 105. Ditto. Sinead. Scan time. Please leave your message after the tone. Hi, it's me. Um, I just wanted to hear your voice. I hate it when we fall out. Anyway, um, can you just give me a call back, please? I don't know about you, Mrs. Osborne, but I just love a waft of bleach when I'm on honeymoon. Oh, yeah, I'm on here. It's right up there with Midnight Jasmine. So now it's just the way to get in. Yeah. Do you know them bailiffs? that repossess cars and take all your worldly goods. You've been watching trashy TV again? Well, they have to serve the writ to the actual person, physically hand it to them, or else it don't count. OK. Well, I'm thinking my scan results. We do a runner, nobody can tell us. Oh. If I never have to see it, feel it, or hear it, then I'll never have to know my expiry date. I mean, I know my best before date. I was best before cancer. But if we don't let anyone say it... Then it's kind of not happening. We need to know what we're dealing with. I know. But a girl can dream. Oh, well, back to reality. Yep, afraid so. All right, Dr. Lur. How was it? Red roses and violins. <laughs> you are a woman trapped in a man's body, but he loves a bit of gossip, you know. Hey, you sexist. <laughs> yeah, shame on you, big sexist. <laughs> no, it was lovely. The hotel was really nice. The beds were really comfy. Too comfy, in fact, because he conked out as soon as we got in the room. Oh, that was fun for you. Well, I can't blame him, can you, McCauley? How was he doing? Thank you. <laughs> you. Pay all that money and then you crash out. It's no easy way to say this, Maria. You picked the wrong brother. No, I've got no complaints. And come on, let's get you a double espresso. That'll sort you out. You know what? I can't. I've got the car running. I've got to get to work, so... Well, we'll get it to go, then. Come on. Ah, oh, listen. Mm. You're running on empty. Aren't you supposed to be setting a good example? Mm. I'll be all right. I'll get a banana. Listen, I'm sorry for sleeping in England, OK? Mm, don't worry. You're forgiven. Quite like watching you, anyway. Of course you're not bunny boy, Maria. Don't be daft. Hey, shut up, yeah. It's actually very romantic while <laughs> I'm watching your boyfriend sleep. He didn't know anything about it. He's not got a romantic doll in his body, has he? <laughs> See you later. See you later. Uh, the bag. <laughs> See you later. Seriously, come here. 
What a waste of a hotel, really. You're losing your touch. Oh, charming. Wham, bam, thank you, Pam. Oh, uh, no, I, was, uh, I didn't want to wake you up, that's all. I was going to do you full Irish with sort of fires. No arguments. Oh, heart attack on a plate, my favourite. <laughs> Look what I found. What is it? There's only one way to find out. Car crash. Oh, what? You never said. How come? Uh, turns out she's been recording me when I've been sounding off about stuff and putting it online. What stuff? Oh, I don't know. Restaurants that serve you food on bits of slate, feedback forms, dogs and calves. What, and she's been posting that online? Oh, yeah. I've got my own page. Kept the crank for rants and bants. Well, there's a, a compliment in there somewhere. Trust me, there's not. I'm a laughing stock. Looks like the drink was just a, another way of getting more material out of me. Dad, that's horrible. Yeah, where's the respect? Well, she must think you're very funny. No. She thinks I'm a middle-aged dinosaur kicking off every five minutes. Oh, thanks a bunch. Come on, how did you leave it with her? I sacked her. Well, she's a good mechanic, isn't she? Yeah, there's plenty of decent mechanics out there without the attitude. Here they are. Hey, come here, sis. Come on. Oh, hello, big bro. We'll get used to this. Oh, you looked exhausted after yesterday. Yeah. Hey, what about this one cutting a rug on the dance floor? Yeah, you've got all the moves, haven't you, Dad? Dance like no one's watching. Oh, believe me, everybody was watching. <laughs> <laughs> Slipping away unnoticed was a wise move. Well, it's a good job you brought your camcorder out to retire. Yeah, I notice. I can't wait to see the footage again. Well, I must have a screening at number one. Ooh, lovely. Sooner rather than later would be good, yeah. though, wouldn't it? Yeah. And we can discuss our trip to Venice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sounds good. See you in a bit. Okay. Okay. He just feels like everyone's laughing at him. Well, they are. In a good way, the guy's a legend. Yes, well, the legend isn't seeing the funny side of things. Well, I kind of got that when he sacked me. Well, it's completely backfired, hasn't it? Only on me. It could be great for business. Kev's page has had loads of hits. There's four people messaged me already saying they want Kev the Crank to do their MOT. <laughs> Get lost. Scouts on her. One woman says she's going to book in for a full service. <laughs> Have you told him any of this? Hello. I'm sacked. What, so you really think it could be a moneymaker? Well, I, I don't think. I know. If Kev can get past his wounded pride, he could be scowling all the way to the bank. Excuse me, Doctor. May I interest you in an avocado bagel? Me, what are you, uh... I was gonna get you a bacon and egg bar, I bet you'd have preferred that one, yeah. Oh, do you know what? It's fine. I'll eat this for my lunch. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't have to worry about that. Well, I do. You're taking care of the entire population of Weatherfield, aren't you? Someone's got to take care of you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. You don't look it. Who's that guy they've arrested? What's he done? Do you know him? Is he a mate of yours? Look, well, they've handcuffed him and everything. Mia, can you just stop turning Please, you are doing my head in, OK? I am at work here, OK? It's not some backstreet barbers, OK? It's a hospital, life and death. You get the picture? <laughs> well, I can mind him a bit longer if you want. There's no bother. No, it's all right. I want to cherish every second I have with him. Yeah, of course you do. Well, if you're not going to get these scan results for a few days, you could uh, have a mini-moon. Mm, I don't know. 
Oh, you'll be climbing the walls waiting for that phone to ring. Get out there, have a bit of fun. Great minds, Auntie Beth, great minds. How about this? Only a couple of hours away. Hi there. <laughs> oh, what's up with this? One bed cottage, stunning views of Grassmere. Hey, whopping great telly. Oh, travel cot on request. We could take Bertie with us. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, book it. What she said. Hey! Yeah! yeah. yeah. It's giving me the evil. You grab a booth and leave him to me. Liquid lunch, Father. Oh, you've lined your stomach. No lectures. I've had a bad day. Is that because you've lost your wing woman? She's not lost. What can I get you? Can I have half a cider, please, Johnny, and half a lager and lime? Yeah, I'll get sulf. Dad, you owe more than half a cider. Do you know eight people have been in contact about the garbage? That's eight potential customers, plus word of mouth. And all you've got to do is be your usual grumpy, glass half empty self. Oi! No, what I'm saying is you should be thanking her, not sacking her. Abby's got you loads of free publicity. Okay, she's figured out that you being a big nag is your unique selling point. I really need this job, Kev. I was only having a laugh. I only skip people I like. Plus, remember what she did for Mum in prison? Burgle. <laughs> and the time that we got burgled. I mean, Jack could have really been her. Soph, come on. It's ancient history. All right, OK. You can make a start on that blue Civic. You're the best. Well, don't put anything else on the internet without my say-so. Ask me where I'll be this time tomorrow. Hit me. Touching down in Singapore City. It's all right for some, eh? <laughs> my baby's going travelling. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, Singapore's just for starters. I'm going to meet Imogen out in Southeast Asia. We're just trying to work it out. But then she's going to fly home and I'm going to fly to Tokyo. What, on your own? Me and Rana always wanted to go to Japan. Dream holiday. She's always with me, you know? Yeah, do you know what? It sounds amazing. You'll do the power of good. Yeah, and wait, the flight's alone. Have you had a secret lottery when you lot? Mm, you could say that. Oh, you failed you. What a wicked stepmother's ball. <laughs> and I'm so grateful. You know that. You still haven't told me how you rustled up that ground. You scale back on the family bathroom. Well, marble, schmarble. I mean, no one's going to know the difference, are they? And that lino looks like proper towels. It's good stuff. Yes, love. Did you get I've been pilly. No, look, I, I should No, you, you called it. You, you were prioritising Sinead and Daniel, and I was... Too jealous to think straight. Well, neither of us are perfect, are we? Can we just put it behind us, please? Gladly. And for what it's worth, uh, that franchise will be great for us. Oh, it's just, just Mum. I'll, I'll call about later. I need to get to work. Shell. I'm sorry that I, that I missed the reception. I should have been there. Yeah. Yeah, you really should. Such a lovely young couple, everything they've been through. You know, we're so lucky, aren't we? Yeah. And listen, if, um, if Ray does want to discuss the franchise, I'll, I'll give you a shout, yeah? Yeah, cool. Well, look at us, all grown up and civilised. No, I, uh, I can't believe that I've just spoken to you. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Look, I know this is no excuse, Maria, OK? But I'm, I'm stressed out, I'm, I'm tired, overworked, I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah, you're right, it's no excuse. You know, the guy who got arrested, I, I work with him every day, and we're all in a bit of shock. None of that justifies the way that you laid into me, Ali. Do you know what? You're right. You're right, and I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want your flowers. They'll just remind me of how you spoke to me and the way you looked at me. OK, I, I hate myself for the way that I lashed out at you, the one person that I do care about. <laughs> 
talk about blowing hot and cold. You do me, I did. Why don't we go for a walk after work? I can't, I've got to pick Liam up. I've got to cook his tea, help him with his homework, you know, it's a school night. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. I have got a life, Ali. You know, yeah, it's a bit backstreet and it's obviously not as exciting as yours, life and death and all that, but it's a good one. You know what, despite what you think, okay, I really, really care about you, okay, and I really, really respect you. Well, like my mum always said, talk is cheap. Okay. Can I ring you tomorrow? Well, I will ring you tomorrow, okay? I will ring you, and, and if I can't get through to you, then I'm going to keep trying, okay, until I can make it up to you. I promise you that, okay? published author, and no, please don't keep going about it. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah, it's in tomorrow's paper. The Daniel stumps his foot and the editor caves. <laughs> oh, the editor caves because it's a quality piece of writing. Yeah, maybe, but um, seriously, thank you, with bells on. Then are Where are you off? Oh, the lakes, three-night mini-moon. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. Is everything OK? Um, Sinead found a lump. Oh, no, Daniel, I'm so sorry. Here's me going on about that stupid article. Don't be ridiculous. You can't tell anyone. No, no, promise I won't. Yesterday was so magical. It's so sad, I can't bear it. How can you bear it? Denial, that helps. I don't suppose you Cover your shifts. Yeah, you don't even need to ask. Thank you. And, uh, hey, it is great news, by the way, about your article. See ya. Are we on the clock, are we? Just keeping it professional to avoid any more misunderstandings. Right. Sounds good. I'm rethinking the Bistro franchise. It's not completely off the table. I'm just not convinced now's the right time. Or, to be honest, that... You're necessarily the right fit. Right. Well, I won't say I'm not... I've got to go with my gut. It served me well so far. Well, is it open for discussion? You concentrate on the job in hand. OK. Oh, and uh, do us a favour. Close the door on your way out. Well, maybe we should leave it up there if it's going to bring in the punters. Well, exactly. It makes great business sense. Yeah, and remember to play to the gallery. No smiling for selfies. What? Well, you think I'm going to pose for flaming selfies? Perfect. Have a rant. Don't love you even more. Shall I get the drinks in? Yeah. Same again for them, please. And can I have a gin and tonic? Just be yourself. Yeah, but on a bad day. Well done, darling. Well, my dad needed butter and up, and Abby needed raining in. It's no biggie. You're taking two hot heads, bang them together, and they haven't even noticed you've done it. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty impressive. Yeah, well, you're biased. And you are incapable of taking a compliment. Why do I feel like this is going to turn into one of them pep talks about life, the bigger picture? All right, my lips are sealed, but you and I both know that you have far more to offer this world. Sort of Jenny up for me. So that's a promise. Every time you and your big suitcase land, you send me a text. Well, Maria will come round, mate. A bit of TLC. Your well-rehearsed bedside manner. Mm. Doubt it. I was uh, pretty harsh. I reckon I've blown it. Behave. Mate, you've got letters after your name. Prospects. Yeah, I mean, I got the looks, but you got the smarts. Hello. Who's this dodgy pharmacist for the rest of your place? Big Farmer. Do you know him? Yeah, yeah, everyone knows him. <laughs> uh, drug dealing pharmacist. All nice and respectable in his lovely white lab coat. Surrounded by flood ceiling drugs. Oh, perfect. If you didn't get caught. House keys, car keys, directions and brain. Uh, Bertie's formula. Uh, we've got Bobby Bear, chamomile tea bags. Yep, in Bertie's implausibly large suitcase. Mm. Oh. oh, that's a hospital number. Would you want me to answer it? 
Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, hi, speaking. Uh, this afternoon? Um, yeah, 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 okay. All right, uh, yeah, please tell Mr. Merchant I'll see him at quarter four. Thanks, bye. Okay, so we mustn't catastrophize. The reason they're on the ball is because you're young and you've got your whole life ahead of you. What did they sound like? I don't know, serious? Yeah, understandably. Sorry, I didn't mean to bamboozle you. What are you thinking? No mini moon for us, Bertie Boo. Could always call them back, tell them we're going away for a few days. No. I need to know. So do you. Great hug. Right, I'm going to change his nappy. Okay. All right. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs> 